Hi, I'm Joanne Litton with Purdue Extension in Carroll County, and today I want to share an easy, delicious recipe of low country boil, which you make with fresh garden produce, some brats or summer sausage, and shrimp. Before you get started, when you go to buy your shrimp, you will want to look for frozen, and you will want to look for the words easy peel. That way, it's already debanked. So, to get started, I need to go thaw my shrimp and cut up my vegetables, and we will be back in a second. Now that our shrimp has thawed, I like to thaw in cool water, it is ready to be peeled. If it is already slit down the back, like these easy peel shrimp are, all you do is pull down the sides of the peel and pull the peel off, and you are ready to go. This easy recipe is made in one pot. You will use one and a half quarts of water, a quarter cup of your favorite crab seasoning. Stir so that the seasoning is distributed throughout your pot of water and turn to high to boil. While that is boiling, let me tell you what you're going to add. You will add the potatoes first. I cube them so that they're about one inch cube. They will cook for eight minutes. Then you will put in the rest of your vegetables. We did wedges of the onions, half inch slices of the red peppers, and cut our corn on the cob in thirds. And you can either use summer sausage or brats in about half inch to one inch slices. They will go in for five minutes and then you are ready to add your shrimp and some lemon juice and cook for another three to four. The timing on the shrimp depends on the size of your shrimp. You will want to cook until it is white in color of the flesh with red accents. So our timer went off. It looks like we're done. So the way to test your potatoes, of course, is with a fork and the way to safely test your shrimp is with an instant read thermometer into the center of the thickest part. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to look for white flesh with orange reddish tints and shrimp go to 160 and we are into the thickest part of the flesh and we are over 165, which is what we need. So we are ready to have our meal. So you will take your dish to the sink, use a colander, drain everything, and you're ready to serve. Isn't this delicious? You are ready to serve your guest for a fun picnic meal. All you need to add is some fruit. I have melted some butter to go on the potatoes and the corn on the cob to prevent your fingers from getting too hot, I have these corn holders. So melt your butter, pour on, and you're ready to go. Mm. 